Well, good morning. Today is Thursday, August the 13th, and it is an absolutely beautiful day in Tampa Bay. Our scripture reading for today is Jeremiah 26, 27, 28, and 29. It is a long passage. Our devotional is going to be focused on really Je uh, Jeremiah 26 and Jeremiah chapter 29. Now, the title of today's devotional is this. Who can stretch forth his hand against the Lord's anointed and be guiltless? That, of course, is a quote that David uh, spoke when he referred to King Saul, who was the king in his day. Now, Jeremiah 26, I've given the theme, kill the prophet. The nation of Judah has suffered the humiliation of Babylon, taking away King Jeconiah in change. The treasuries of the temple, the treasuries of the palace have been plundered. And Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, has also taken away Judah's brightest youth. You learn that in Daniel chapter 1, verses 3, 4, and 5. Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego had all been taken away, along with many of the others who were the future leaders of Judah. We also learn in Jeremiah chapter 26 that they also took away the skilled laborers. And so Judah is a nation that is given over at this point to its absolute destruction because of its sins. There has been a, a succession of wicked kings sitting on Judah's throne, and the nation itself is cursed with false prophets and priests. In fact, there is in Jeremiah's day now a foreboding of death and destruction that hangs over the, la the, the land. Now, Jeremiah 26 uh, verses 1 through 10, God comes to Jeremiah and commands him, go to the court of the Lord's house, that is, go to the temple, and what I tell you, and I quote, diminish not a word. Jeremiah goes to the temple and boldly declares what God has given him. And when he is finished, the priest and the false prophets, they stir up the people and who said to the prophet, Thou shalt surely die. The uproar was so great that the princes or the leaders of Judah intervened and they established at the gate of the temple what would become a public trial for Jeremiah. Jeremiah 26, 11 through 24 then is Jeremiah on trial. The wicked priests, the false prophets, they all bring accusations against Jeremiah because he's been preaching a message of doom against Jerusalem. They justify putting the prophet of God to death. Jeremiah stands, and in verse 12, Jeremiah says, the Lord sent me to prophesy against this house, that is speaking of Judah, and against this city all the words that ye have heard. Jeremiah encourages the people, amend your ways and your doings. Obey the voice of the Lord with the promise that God would withhold his final judgment against Judah. The leaders of the nation considered Jeremiah's case, and in doing so, they considered also two previous cases. One was regarding the prophet Micah, who had prophesied against Judah, but had been spared death because a revival began with Hezekiah and went through the people, and they repented of their sins. There was another case of a prophet named Uriah. We also know him in the scriptures as Uriah. Uriah prophesied against the reign of the wicked king Je Jehoiakim. As a result of that and the threats against his life, Urijah fled to Egypt. Well, the king uh, sent his men down to Egypt, brought back Urijah, and the king himself slew him and cast his body into a commoner's grave. Two cases. Fortunately for Jeremiah at this point, there was the voice of one man named Ahiakim who spoke up. And he interceded with the judges, and they finally gave Jeremiah the release, his liberty, and he was not put to death. Now, Jeremiah 29 is a wonderful prophecy 
of not only the the tragedy of 70 years of captivity in Babylon, but ultimately the promise that Judah and Israel would ultimately be restored to the land. Jeremiah 29, then, is a letter that Jeremiah has sent to those who are in Babylon with the promise that there would be 70 years of captivity. Jeremiah encourages the people in Jeremiah 29 to build houses, to plant gardens, to take wives, to bear sons and daughters, and to seek the peace and pray unto the Lord for it. In other words, you're going to be in captivity for 70 years. Make the best of it. But know this, that your time of judgment will end in 70 years. Now, there was a problem. For there were false prophets not only in Judah, but now there were false prophets also in Babylon. And these false prophets began telling the people, in a year, two years, you're going to be able to go back to the land that God has promised you. Well, we know that was a lie. And so the false prophets were proven to be the liars that they were. But they sent accusations against Jeremiah for prophesying about the 70 years. There was one whose name was Shimei. Shimei, who was in Babylon among those who were captive, actually sent a letter back to Jerusalem and Jeremiah. Jeremiah was given the letter by the king. And the Lord comes to Jeremiah and he says to his prophet concerning Shimei, Shimei hath prophesied unto you, but the Lord says, I sent him not. He caused you to trust a lie. He hath taught rebellion against the Lord. Wow, a powerful response. You know, I close like some of you. I identify with the sorrows of Jeremiah. And God's command diminished not a word of the Lord. You know, the fact is this. When you preach the truth, you're going to suffer personal attacks. I've been the recipients of letters very much like uh, Shimei's letter to Jeremiah. Je Shimei disparaged the prophet. He stirred an uprising against Jeremiah. And that was only resolved by the Lord's word and the Lord's promise that Jeremiah would be vindicated. And Shimei would be shown to be the man that he was, a false prophet. But you know, God's judgment did not stop there. For not only would Shimei be killed, but even his sons and daughters, his family, would be punished. I close with the words of David regarding those who are God's servants. David said, And who can stretch forth his hand against the Lord's anointed and be guiltless? I encourage you. Be careful what you say about your pastor. Be careful what you say about those who minister because God will vindicate his faithful servants. Be faithful to the Lord. Humble. Seek his word and seek his face. God bless you. I look forward to joining you tomorrow as we continue our study in the prophecies of Jeremiah. God bless. Have a great day.